There we are. Cheese, what are you doing? What did you... Oh, no, my cat's going crazy. She has to get some outside time soon. Well, in fact, I have to put the garbage out. But enough about what I have to do. Welcome again, folks. I do apologize for the show being late. I'm the one, the only hobo, Tom. And I had to wake up early for work, and I had to close last night at work. So this video is a little bit late. But the good news, I am still on track to go to NXT tonight, here live in Daytona Beach. In fact, you can see this guy, Hobo Tom, they're probably about 6.30. Um, it's a little chilly outside, this guy's overcast. So, yeah, because I have windows there and windows there. So, I think I'm going to take the truck, because I don't feel like getting stuck in the cold rain. When it's hot and rainy, it's kind of comfy. When it's cold and rainy, it sucks. Especially with a nice leather jacket. Or a decent leather jacket. Or a pleather jacket. Yeah, I think. Or or WWE Blue. I'll get to that in a little bit. Let's talk about some SmackDown Live. I'll tell you what. SmackDown righted itself. Last week, not good. This week, actually much better. Especially the wrestling part. That's the thing, because sometimes with WWE, the wrestling can be good. Everything else is terrible. This time, the wrestling was good. They kept the in-between segments terse to the point, and it didn't go on forever. There, there was oh my God, there was no, there was no stupid soap opera dramas tonight. Uh, yeah, for the most part. So, um, so there were actually some some fun things that happened, and again, we're leading up to War Games and Survivor Series. War Games is next week, and I'll tell you my whole schedule. This next week sucks, especially for me. Oh wait, do I? No. Yeah, it's just a one day. Okay. Yeah, wait. Let me look at my calendar. Oh, yeah, I can do that. makes sense. And what should I have for dinner? Need that. Ooh. I might have that. That sounds like a plan. Although I need pickle and coleslaw. Though. Ooh. That does sound good. Enough about that nonsense. Let me talk about some pro wrestling. Worst thing. Actually, I have to make pickles. Too. Shoot. What am I going to get? I don't know. I'll figure that out. Yeah. I'm thinking about way too much stuff. That does sound really good, though. Yeah. It does take a while, though. I don't know. We'll see. I'm distracted. So SmackDown was actually really fun to watch. I cut the replay of it. We do. I'll tell you what. It was fun. Um, starts off with King Corbin being flanked by Dolph Rude. Um, sorry, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Rude. And he says he's because he is the new locker room leader. He's going to bring out the big dog Roman Reigns and. <laughs> kind of dogs who comes out. That was funny. That's a lot better than, than the dog poo thing. I'll give him that. The writers actually learned something. Uh, so he comes out. Says, "Yep, here's because this is before the match. Um, run, of course, runs down Roman Reigns. Have have the big dog. He's giving the dogs commands and stuff. He'll sit. Basic stuff. It was fun. It was fun and." It didn't feel like it lasted too long, probably because there was motion again um, coming down to the ring, and he he cut his little spiel and then introduced someone, and you could hear the Philly crowd get excited, and then the Philly crowd booed. I'm surprised. Philly crowd can can be weird. 
This seemed to be a rather quiet Philly crowd. Oh, hi, Scott. And also, um, Dan Blaze and Bumps and and Bum Slicks. Remember, you're not getting any more video things because I'm actually making you two into characters. You're going to be the Discorders and the tag team. Oh yeah, you're going to be the Discorder. Oh no, I should, should I have you? Elvio is a Discorders. Oh no! Oh yeah, I can do that. And the Discorders and the tag team. Dan Blaze will be. I have no idea what you look like. Bump looks I've actually seen before. So I know what Bump looks looks like. Bump looks is definitely a cruiserweight. Dan Blaze, I guess. I might make him a cruiserweight. I don't have any cruiserweights. Well, actually, I do have a few. But I always steal Enzo Amore. I think Enzo Amore is the current cruiserweight champion. I think. But yeah, I just need Bum Slicks as a cruiserweight. I don't know, Dan Blaze will just be like normal guy. Sorry. Uh, but you'll be the Discorders. I'm probably making you night while my NXT video is processing. That'll be fun to do. For a little bit at least. Yeah, because I have to make the video cook. That would be good. Eat <laughs> even better. Watch video, eat cheeseburgers. And I have to get to sleep by I have to get to sleep by midnight though. Or at least one. Or latest one. Or earliest one. I could try man, I'm a mess today. Going to work this morning. Zonk me. Um so next so the first match of the night, we have Dolph Ziggler and Robert Rude taking on <laughs> Mustafa Ali and Shorty G. I like the fact that they brought Mustafa Ali's first name back because cause Ali and Shorty G just, just sounded weird. Shorty G, Chad Gable. I hate Shorty G. Chad Gable, he is so technical. He starts off the match, really technical match. Um, Root is definitely the classic heel, though. Again, um, more so the baby face tends to be more, more technical, more met based. The heel, though, tends to be more strike heavy. That makes sense. Again, Root, he's so good as a heel. When he was in NXT as a heel, we, we, we miss heel Robert Root. Especially arrogant heel Robert Rude that and corporate arrogant heel Robert Rude was the best. Um again, Ali Mustafa Ali and, and Shoriji, they have great tag team chemistry. I don't know what it is. But they did the one top rope double team. Uh Shoriji put Rude into the arm ringer. Ali G climbed up, does a double stomp onto the arm. Classic tag team wrestling. I like that stuff. Uh, Ali, he's, he's just more flippy. Um, Ali gets kicked out. Oh, um, Ali actually kicked out of the famous which was pretty impressive. Ali winds up on the outside when it seems like Baron Corbin's going to take advantage of the situation with said puppy reigns, I guess. The real Roman Reigns shows up. Dana, 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 Dana. Crowd popped pretty big for that. That was fun. Uh, so Roman Reigns, the equalizer out there. Which is good. Shory G. Again, he did that ankle lock. Shory G does have to watch because it seemed like he actually semi boshes because when he rolled through to the ankle lock, he actually kicked, looked like he kicked Dolph Ziggler in the head, like a back heel kick. I'm like, oh, that's a that's a terrible Pele kick. Oh, he was going for the ankle lock. Uh oh. And then I wonder if I'm gonna have off the eighth. I don't know. I have to find out my. Well, I won't know for a while. But I'll let you folks know about any future things that happen here on the Hobo and well, pants for right now. That's only show. Maybe I should ask her. <laughs> I don't want to say, that would be funny to see her reaction to pro wrestling. Oh, so much nonsense going on. And I might even catch, depending, again, on said work schedule, maybe the New Year's Day. 
don't think I've worked on Wednesday a lot. I don't know. We'll see. Again, too much depends on too much. So I'll know my weekly schedule I'm, when I know it, actually. I'm just happy. When I came home, my cell phone went off. I'm like, oh, please, I hope I don't have to go to work. A person shows up. And I guess they did, or I know we were like two people short in the meeting. Boss, not happy. He was happy with me because I actually got something at work. But I'm sorry, folks. It's just, I'm trying to, I've had two caffeines. This is my third caffeine. Me waking up in the morning on Saturday, not working or fishing, just screws me up. Working and fishing, I understand. Just going to a meeting and like, Shopping, which wasn't bad, because actually I'm almost done all my Christmas shopping. <laughs> um, but the the uh, uh, Shorty G and Mustafa Ali did that roll suplex to a 450. They win. Yes, this was a fun match too. It was a long match. They gave it time. This is a surf and turf match. Actually, there was only one bad match on the whole card. I think, yeah. Well, well, one fun match, one 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 so-so match. And again, I have a thing where, where I do like the main event to be some kind of wrestling match, but we'll see. Did I get my knee open again? Just healed my knee and I smashed it up again. So we have Braun Strowman, Ben. Uh, was invited to the ringside by Drew Gulak, and this time he has a B team fighting him. Eventually, I think for table ladders and chairs, we'll probably have Braun Strowman in some regard taking on Drew Gulak. That's good for Drew Gulak. He's a new PowerPoint show. And this time it's only one slide long, and this is why Drew Gulak is good for, for a SmackDown. And why he'd be good, I think, on the Survivor team. Uh, for the most, Braun Strowman has had enough of it. He jumps. He goes after Drew Gulak. It's a triple team. But this is Braun Strowman. Get these hands. And he eventually fights out of the triple team. Drew Gulak lets the B team take all the pumps. Drew Gulak, smart. Soldier Ant. Yes, there's a reason why he was Soldier Ant in Chikara. I don't even think this was a match because the referee was like on the outside. So I, I guess it was supposed to be a match, but because they just jumped him, I don't care. It was fun, though. Referee didn't, like, there were no pinfalls either, so that was a pretty fun segment, though. And Drew Gulak makes, makes shows more enjoyable. Then there was a New Day promo, right? I like the fact that they're giving the New Day promo right before the match. It's kind of fun, and then they get to do, oh, Philadelphia! Don't you dare be sour. Get up and clap for your seven time tag team champions. Because it's a new day. Yes, it is. New day rocks. New day rocks. Or however they do it. I forget. It's been a while. But then it was weird because then they went to the ringside. And as they're, make, as they're in the ring. They have a promo with Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Daniel Bryan. He's still trying to recruit Daniel Bryan. He wants to know why he hasn't joined up. If he would have joined up, none of that nonsense would have happened with The Fiend. Sami's become the heel who makes good points, which is always good to hear. Um, but then we get the revival coming up to the ring. This was a fun match. My only qualm about this match is that now Kofi Kingston has taken up the Xavier of, of let's go beat up Xavier Woods roll for 80% of the match until the hot tag. So Kofi Kingston has this spot. I think, unfortunately, with the New Day and WWE, they're getting into that kind of rut area where it's becoming predictable. Do I need to finish up soon, too? I took a look at my clock. I'm having way too much fun. I started way too late. But uh, he was up, then all of a sudden in the back, I heard, break, 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 Yano. Everyone's stealing Yano. Yano's the best. Yano is the best. Yano number one. 
And they do have that World Tag Team Tournament on New Japan. I'm I'm not going to be able to catch that. Um, maybe I'll see some highlights of it, though. Yano and Cole Cabana. That should be fun. The Revival again. Classic heel tag team work. One of the best. Uh, Biggie eventually gets a hot tag. Um, eventually, uh, however, the, the Revival do double team wear down Biggie a lot. Wilder somehow hit an electric chair slam on Big E. That was amazing looking. Big E is no small guy. Uh, uh, Dawson, I guess he's a bald guy. He does a fake punch into a DDT. Oh, wow. I like that. Wrestling. Uh, the Big E eats a shatter machine. And I'm like, oh, are we going to have new? Are we going to have the trading of belts? That still makes sense. And we haven't seen a hot potato. Book a hot potato in a while. So it's something different at least. Then Kofi Kingston makes a save. Then an undisputed era shows up, which means they probably won't be here in Daytona Beach. But the undisputed era, just like their their gang sign indicates, in the beat up both teams. So the referee made no call because well, undisputed era beat up everyone. So this is a no contest, baby. No one wins. Period. But I'll tell you what, it was fun. It makes sense. Especially with the un un undisputed era for life. Yeah, my gang signs. I wonder if that would get me banned from YouTube if I was ever monetized. Remember, this video is not, it's not meant for kids. Nonsense. YouTube's YouTube's being to destroy YouTube. But that's a whole other conundrum. Um, oh, wow, we've only had one match so far? Oh, yeah, that's right. There were only four. Yeah, and this match was fun. Um, again, eventually the rest of the, the SmackDown Tag Team Division come out to help out the Revival and the New Day. And Otis is like, yeah! Otis, yeah! Otis is the best. Otis, number one. Again, yeah, this was fun. This was another surf and turf match. Then we have Heavy Machinery. I think they stay just they stay in the rinks there they're next. Oh no, they actually went back. Went to commercial, cleared the ring, heavy machinery actually leave. Um Jobber McJobbers show up. Um Kips and Stevens, I think I caught their name once. I think that's who they were. They take on, yeah, Taki! Come on, Taki! Heavy machinery. This was a score. This was a squash match. I'm gonna call it what it was, but it was fun because one, it was heavy machinery. Two, the jobbers actually tried. They at some point in the match they went for a double clothesline on Tucker Knight. Tucker Knight just kind of red rovered right through. It kind of laughed at him and said, <laughs> uh, "Tags and Otis." Hits the caterpillar. I don't even think they do the compactor because they they just like squash the choppers with a signature move. It's good to see. This is it's a squash mash. It's just going to be a ham sandwich though. And then we have the women's eight. Woman tag team match. Maybe holding up there looks a little bit better. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe right there. Okay. If it look, makes the shoulder look weird. That's what it, um, it was pretty fun. I didn't realize Tegan Knox has a tattoo on her hip on her on near her booty. Ooh, Tegan Knox. Nixon and Newell, because she's the girl with the Chinese wizard. She's pretty cool. Um, for the most part, it was kind of a classic eight-man tag match. Um, Carmella's actually Carmella's. I think Carmella and Rhea Ripley were really the standouts of this match. Uh, Sasha Banks got in there for a little bit. At least it hid Sasha Bashiness, so that's a good thing. Uh, the stipulation is if those women win the match, then Nikki Cross gets to join the women's tag team, the women's survivor team. There are stakes involved. Which was always good. Not sticks and weights either. Uh, kind of classic match. Um, Rhea Ripley is so strong, though. 
She like tosses everyone around. I mean, eventually, Nikki Cross gets over because she pins Dakota Kai. And I don't know. Dakota Kai looks like she aged 10 years. Like, span of two. I don't know if it's that New Zealand thing or, or what. I don't know. She just looks a lot older. Because I remember when I saw her even three years ago, she looked young. Now she looks old. She looks like 10 years older. It's like she aged 10 years or something. Nixon Newell is still Nixon Newell. Or Tegan Knox is still Tegan Knox. She's still the girl with the shiniest wizard. Not the shiniest wizard. Bad English WWE. But overall, this was fun. Again, there's, there's um, the only other thing I miss. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, there, there's a brawl. Whenever there's an eight-woman eight tag team match, you know there's a brawl somewhere. This was fun, though. It's a good cheeseburger match. And then we get to Miz TV with Daniel Bryan. Uh, Miz starts adding leading questions. I haven't been watching You Got Lawyer. That was kind of that's a fun show. Um, DB and Miz go at it. Part two. I want to see. I want to see the Miz shoot on Daniel Bryan again. That was so amazing. Um, Again, it's funny because then, uh, oh, uh, earlier there was the Firefly Funhouse. Ray reveals the new Universal Champion. It's a blue belt now. It's actually kind of nice blue, though. It's like almost a navy blue belt, so it's not light blue. It still has the same kind of plate, though. It's different. If they did like a snakeskin leather, weird, like, I don't know. Menacing belt that would have been better, but I'm okay with it. The red jam belt, no one liked the blue belt. I think because it's Bray Wyatt's belt, people like it better. But for this, um, Bray Wyatt again shows up on, on the Tron and it's like Daniel Bryan's like, No, no, and it was like, Yes, like, well, why don't you come here and we can talk about this and fight over this belt? So Bray Wyatt's like, Yes, Daniel Bryan's no. Because he, because Daniel Bryan killed the Yes movement, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's funny because even the puppets, even the puppets, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and Ramblin' Rabbit was the most excited about saying yes, yes, or however he does it. Ramblin' Rabbit's the best. Ramblin' is gonna get killed again. <laughs> Ramblin' Rabbit's immortal. Um, let's see here. So again, um, Daniel Morris says, "No, I want to face you in the wrestling ring. I'm not gonna come over to the Funhouse." So Bray's like, "Yes, yes, yes." So that was a fun way to close the show, though. Um. But then, <laughs> it's was, it was, it was funny because, because I guess the segment ended a couple of minutes shorter than I guess that they thought it was going to be. Because Daniel Bryan is like, is that it? Are, are, are we done? He just wanted to go home. <laughs> and Miz is now the official booker of WWE. So again, that was a, that was a, that was a fun episode, though. Um, much better than last week. I'll, I'll, give him, I'll give him that much credit. Uh, as for this week, there's one more wrestling day. You can see this guy, Hobo Tom, tonight here in the Midtown Multicultural Center here in Daytona Beach. And if you want to say, hey, I've I seen you on YouTube, I'm like, yeah. You want to give a shout out? I'll give you your YouTube, your YouTube shout out. And it'll be online for all your buddies to see. So again, I'll be there probably about 6 30 ish. Um, what else? Yeah, probably about 7 10, I'll be in line. I don't know. I hope there's some good. I have to put the, I have to put, I only have a few more spaces on the door, so I'll fill that in, though. that's okay. Um, then I break for a normal week, and I'll get into next week's schedule probably on Tuesday, because next week is going to be, probably Tuesday I'll do a double show again between uh, SmackDown and Impact, oh, this might be a triple show, SmackDown, Impact, and NWA Power, Wednesday, 
is AEW. I'm off Thursday, Friday, SmackDown. Saturday's War Games. And then Sunday, it's going to be Survivor Series. Then it's a normal Monday, normal Tuesday, normal Wednesday. Thursday, it will be the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. New episode will go up there. Um, Friday, SmackDown.